Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video, man. I'm so excited for today's video. Bro, Jake Paul just released a new video. And also, Tommy Fury also updated his Instagram. You know what I'm saying? He's fighting some guy called Liam. And Jake Paul is also fighting Nate Diaz, man. So I'm excited, man. I think it's going to be a boxing. Then they'll go to the UFC. So if you're excited for that, Brett, smash the subscribe button. Drop a like if you're brand new. And if you can't wait, and let's jump right in to see what Jake Paul has for us today. That's when he lost to Tommy Fury. I'm so excited Utah, to see him. Utah, everybody, you Wait, is this guy in a private jet? You just lost, man. Where are you getting all this money from? You know what I'm saying? He's fighting um, no, no, no. Nate Diaz, eh? You guys. Because well, Conor McGregor didn't listen. It's the first time going to Puerto Rico. We have to oh, give wow. him a chance. Wait, is that how I see him? Next time you guys something from me, you <laughs> can't count on it. John, I got you, though, because I saw you chanting. Who's here for the content? <laughs> yeah. Man, why did you have to get all those tattoos? You know what I'm saying? Mike, you got it. You haven't said anything. Dude, what did I not say? That you lost. Like, I mean, we're on what? This is YouTube. This is YouTube. This Remember? Is you tattoo. No. Wait, what, what? I don't know what's going on right now. You tattoo? You. Why am I being assaulted verbally? Like, I was having a great moment, and then you're just like, hey, you lost. What? It's a tough life up here on this jet. This Richard Milan. I'm going to start yeah. losing more often. I didn't know we were... Should I crop her out? Yeah, crop her out. Okay. Nt fun. No. <laughs> I don't know. 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 This will probably come out in like four weeks, maybe like two years. <laughs> We're the worst team in the world. We lost. We didn't lose when we won. Yeah, bro, you released this video like uh, two months after. We won, but when you lose, it's only just you lose. Yeah. I fuck with that. Hey. <laughs> oh yeah, so this is like. A couple of days after I lost that, I guess, man. That's what I have to deal with on a daily basis. This is Thor's new mom. We have dogs too, but my mom never allowed me to have a dog, so she was like, You finally have a dog! Are you talking about moving in together? Is this what? Like, no, getting a. I'm single. And you? Wait, is this bitch Russian? What is this guy doing with the Russian? You know what I'm saying? You know what you want. This guy is naughty, man. Yeah, no, I'm saying. What are we? I'm single. I'm single. We'll figure it out. We'll get that. No, we know. Yeah, we know. We know. But it's complicated. What is it knowing, man? Remember when we dated? I asked you out and you said yes. But then we had to break up because it was weird. Yeah. Wait, so this guy is gay. No. I know it, bro. You were. Take your shirt off. Do it on camera. Say, bro, why the fuck are you wearing that? Take that off. Man. <laughs> Take it off, brother. It's already ripped. You can just finish ripping. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. You got Jake's jacket. <laughs> no. <laughs> we don't Shit. Balenciaga. What are you doing in, Wait, in the good. jet? You don't support Balenciaga. Good. <laughs> yeah, keep the logo down. Oh my god. No, no, no. Like, what? Dude, the guy is literally standing in the jail ripping that guy's freaking thing off, man. You know what I'm saying? Probably the captain would be like, settle down, boy. Marcos, <laughs> dispose of this. Dude, that's a Balenciaga hoodie, man. That's like a couple of thousand. You know what I'm saying? Looks cool. It looks cool. You look like a ninja assassin. You look like a, a green ninja turtle. Might as well just remove all so the green. So whenever she gets like really happy, but like kind of maybe excited or like overwhelmed, she starts crying like like just a little bit. <laughs> You're about to do it. No, I'm not. My bitch not even that good and looking, no man. This would be like a five out of ten. What is this guy doing, man? And I lost, so let's talk about it. You keep losing, man. You're losing on the bitches. You're losing in the fights. What are you doing, bro? What's going on with you, bro? Two back, two back to back to losses to Alexander Rusev. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, wow. I never thought I'd be making a video like this. Fuck. <laughs> Am I a YouTuber again? Nah. Uh, wait. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Am I a YouTuber again? 
What? Dude, did this nigga really just say that? Yo, like, I mean, this, this guy really fuck. just said it. was just a YouTuber no, again. <laughs> That's why you started, my guy. Gotta well, go back to your roots. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I lost six wins, one loss. It uh, it sucks. It hurts me to say it. You know what, bro? You know Floyd Money Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna be undefeated, bro. You know what I'm why? I don't understand why niggas these days trying to be Floyd Money Mayweather. Like, protect that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? That's just not realistic, man. Not everybody can be like Floyd Money Mayweather, like 50 and all. That's just one in a lifetime. Out loud. I'm gonna be honest. I still haven't even watched the fight yet because I just don't want to watch it. I'm so mad and upset with myself. But I wanted to make this video to just talk about everything, what I've been up to since the loss, and have a lot of new announcements news and things going on and it's been a while since i made a video um so i hope you guys have been good for real i feel like a lot of this fan base is older now uh, <laughs> and i wish i could post more but so busy with so many different ventures but miss you guys for real and hope you've been well it's fucking hot in here whose idea was it to do this you guys don't mind if i get a little breeze in here no so since Saudi, I've been relaxing, trying to process everything. Relaxing? Yeah, yeah, man. It's got a nice whip, leather seats. That's a nice location, nice park. Staying busy at the same time, but really enjoying life and uh, letting the loss like sink in and letting it motivate me for the future moving forward. And oh boy, has it motivated me more than anything. I have been in the gym. That's what I like to hear, you know what I'm saying? Some guys would just be like freaking pigging out on like liquor drinking or eating, partying, you know what I'm saying? Or like gaining a lot of weight. Since the but at least they're still back in the gym, which is good to see. The day I got back from Saudi, I literally got off the flight, came home and went on a four mile jog and have been working out every single day, six days a week, filled with vengeance to come back and take what's mine. Because I know I could beat Tommy. That was the worst version of me possible. Uh, you know, it just wasn't my night. He was the better man. He had an amazing performance. And congrats to Tommy for that. But I want to come back. I want to come back and take what's mine from that kid. And I hope he enjoys it, Tommy. I hope you're enjoying. I hope you paid Tommy double what you went to pay him because of that contract, you said. You know, this victory, you earned it. Um, respect. Let it soak in and enjoy it for as long as possible because you're not going to have a taste of victory on your tongue for a while. But with that said, it was an amazing, amazing event. The biggest pay-per-view that I... Sounds bitter, man. You know what I'm saying? Sounds a bit bitter. ...done by myself to date. Over 800,000 pay-per-view buys, which like sets a record for the past couple of years. I think it's the biggest pay-per-view in the last 24 months which is absolutely insane. An amazing event. Cristiano Ronaldo, all these celebrities, Mike Tyson, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, Devin Hayne. I mean... Oh, yeah, I saw, De I saw, I saw Deontay Wilder. It was um for the Battle Jack fight. The superstar elites of boxing and, and elite celebrities were in attendance. And to me, it's just crazy that I was able to accomplish all of this, you know, in just a short amount of time. Being only 26 years old, being from Westlake, Ohio, and really, you guys have been a part of this journey the whole yes, time. Yes, sir. Boys, if you're brand new, be sure you subscribe if you haven't. This is 97% of you watching haven't subscribed, so be sure you subscribe. Let's get back right into it. And so I just want to say thank you and thank you for the support. It's crazy what this all has become. It's a testament to hard work and dedication and yes, to sir. rolling with the L's. And I think that's the biggest lesson here is I've taken a lot of L's in my career. I've been embarrassed. I've been made out to be the fool. I've had a target on my back. I've made so many mistakes. I've done stupid things myself. I've gone irrelevant 10, 15 times. They've tried to stop me. They've tried to stop my brother. They've always had this target on the Paul brothers back and in all of the moments where it felt like we were going to lose, we came back stronger and it made us smarter. And that's exactly what happened in this loss. You know, I'm making changes within my own life 
making changes within my team, firing some people, bringing on new, new people, making changes within my training camp, just to learn from this loss and to get better in every single way possible. And so that's what I'm so excited to show you guys how to deal with the loss on the biggest stage possible. I want to be able to show y'all, y'all, I'm in a pickup truck. It sounds like a redneck. And all of a sudden I start saying y'all, how to come back from a loss. <laughs> Two L's make a W, baby. Look at that. L. Wait, so are you predicting you're going to lose the next one because you got one loss? You're saying two losses. Wait, so you already lost. Without it, without and it. have been taking a lot of W's um, since the loss, actually. I have a new girlfriend, which is pretty cool. That's been... Wait, so this guy is smashing around. What happened to the other girlfriend? So he's getting multiple girlfriends, eh? So refreshing, and she's a world champion. Uh, I'm just, like, amazed by her and her. What does she do? Speed, like car racing. Her work ethic how much of an angel she is, one of the most pure-hearted human beings that I have met in my life, so genuine, um, and she's just changed my perspective and helped me coming out of this loss, you know, when I was in a dark place, and she really was there talking about her losses and was able to relate to the, those things and what I was going through, and so she's been such a cool, blessing. Cool. So. Sounds interesting, man. You know what I'm saying? Speed, eh? Maybe she can help you about a bit of speed because you didn't have speed in the time you purified. The... You were loading up the right hands too much. You were, you were a bit stiff. You were telegraphing, especially that overhand right Tommy was. You were telegraphing all your punches, man. Tommy could see all the punches coming before you could throw them, you know what I'm saying? And you didn't have much snap on your uh, punches. If you're watching this... You didn't have like much variety in your offense, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have that, like you can't, is you, you shouldn't put out hurtful punches out every time, you know what I'm saying? You should use like speed punches and like fast punches or popping punches. Have that trickery in your armory to keep your guy guessing, you know what I'm saying? But if you're throwing hurtful punches out every time, that's predictable. Hi. The guy's gonna get out of the way, he's gonna move his head. You gotta have something back you can fall back on. That's why Jake Paul got this loss, you know what I'm saying? You're amazing. <laughs> Um, is this, is the fucking sun ruining the, is it ruining the light? Sun, the sun is life, man. The sun doesn't ruin nothing. Anymore. You know what I'm saying? I think it's fucked. The sun fixes but everything. that said, this loss definitely everything. knocked me off of this, like, high horse I was on. I was going around knocking everybody out or knocking them down to the canvas, making, you know, tens of millions. It still did not tie me down to the canvas. Dollars for these fights all in one night, and it's tough. You can you can lose motivation, and I, I think it's it's true. Uh, Marvin Hagler, one of the greatest boxers of all time, said, "You know, it's tough to stay motivated when you're waking up or going to sleep in satin sheets, meaning expensive sheets, and you're surrounded by luxuries." Um, and That's true. I think that I definitely fell a victim to that. Um, and this is good. This is good for me. You know, it, it's a reality check. Use me as what not to do. <laughs> don't don't let that happen to you. It's easier said than done, and it kind of it's creeps up on you, and you know, all of a sudden you, you lose out of nowhere. But use me as maybe a way to avoid that same mistake. Um, and this might be your you might be someone who's like high on your horse right now, has a big ego, is comfortable. Don't get too comfortable. That's my message to to y'all watching this right now. I'm here to just say I lost. Yes, like, thank you for your message. And that's all that matters. Um, and what I do now, moving forward, is what matters. And I'm going to show how much hunger and vengeance this re instilled back into me in my next fight. It's going to be a different Jake Paul. And I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited because I got caught lacking. <laughs> and yeah, you got caught for sure. And that's never going to happen again. And I promise you, and I promise this fan base that. And if you guys have been there supporting me along this journey, you know I'm human too. I'm going to make mistakes. And that's what I did. Uh, but now I'm owning up to it, making changes, and moving forward. And this next fight, I don't even know if I can. We might have to change the dates around. Things might move. But this next fight, August 5th <laughs> against... Yes, yes. Nate Diaz. The rumors are true. Nate Diaz, the legendary Nate Diaz, UFC superstar, a brawler, one of the baddest men on the planet. 
This fight has been brewing for a long time. Our crews have gotten into fights. The beef is there. The shit talk is there. We both said what we needed to say. But now, he's out of the UFC. We got the deal done. The contract is signed. And there's no turning back. We're going to settle it in the ring. And this one's going to be a war. This is going to be a war. Do it next Friday. Are you also going to do UFC after six months? He comes forward. He can take big shots. I mean, MMA. I can take big shots. I'm filled with vengeance. I'm angry. You know, I, I can't lose two in a row. An angry fighter is not a good fighter, bro. A happy fighter is a dangerous fighter. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't do it, mom. So this one means everything to me. He does not want to lose to the YouTuber. So I, I think this is going to be a fight for the ages. And again, one of the biggest pay-per-views uh, of the past couple of years. And he's a pay-per-view star. Um, and I've, I've proven my numbers now. So I'm excited. Ready to show y'all what I've been working on and the changes that I've been making in my own life. And to show you how to come back from a loss and to beat somebody's ass. With that said, if I ever lose again, it's going to be back to every day, bro. I'm joking. I'm joking. Not gonna lose. <laughs> Back to us every yeah. day, bro. <laughs> Is that the music video? I'll be, a, I'll be a YouTuber forever. Dude, I'm trying to be a YouTuber. What's wrong with that? You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be a YouTuber, man. So, yeah. Miss you guys. Hope you're all well. New life, new goals, new priorities. You're gonna see a new and improved version of me August 5th. I hope you guys are ready. Much love. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace. Are you vlogging? Guys, guys, where are you going? Yeah. Fuck your YouTube channel. Whoa, 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 why? I'm gonna fuck your YouTube channel. What else has been going on in my life? Like, I'm oh. supposed to be updating them about my life. Bro, nothing. You're Who's that fat nigga there? I think it was that one. I'm fucking your girl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can't that's trust true. I'm a house. You don't have a new girlfriend? I already told them about you. If you guys think of anything else, let me know. Subscribe and leave a like. Why is a girl driving around with three dudes, man? What's going on, man? You can, like, you can trust the niggas too oh, much, this is my man. new truck. You know what I'm so that's pretty yeah, cool, too. Smash Got it a new out. truck. Um, some of you have been asking about the Ferraris. I have two Ferraris coming. Those are still coming. And it's just been taking a long time for them to be in production. Uh, but it's an SF90 and a 296 GTB. Those are still coming. I don't know, guys. That's that's about it. Oh, and Thor. Come here, buddy. Come here. And Thor is doing <laughs> good, as always. That's a big-ass dog, man. Wait, so this guy's got a Ferrari coming and shit? Oh my goodness. Boys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you in the next video. And I'm out, baby. Peace.